I've been on the ferry for about two years. Uh, and back then there would have been a handful of people. Now if you're not here early, you're standing and pretty soon I'm confident you won't get to see it at all. It's been the uh, willingness of people to adopt public transport which uh, has surprised all of us. Again, it's a great problem to have, it's something that we've all aimed for. Um, it was something that was very, very hard to forecast. It's something that we now know about, it's something that has to be addressed quickly. The five o'clock in the evening ferry, you sometimes a bit concerned that you're not going to be able to make it home. Um, impact on that kind of means about an extra hour on your commute in the evening, so you won't get home to spend time with your family. That's, that's a major concern. We're moving one of those vessels um, to Hobsonville in the short term to deal with the immediate and the potential um, issues during March our peak um, travel demand time. If um, demand is, is still there after March, then we can keep that bigger vessel on for a longer term as well. The disciplines around transport orientated design and more urban forms and suburban areas further out from the city requires this type of transport to come in as a mandatory. It isn't an option. It isn't something that can be turned on and off, it becomes a critical part of the infrastructure of the city and uh, so yes this type of development demands that.